Hi, my name is Andrea Fiore. I'm a sports consultant to McCluskey International. Sports tourism, because sports in general, one thing we've seen even in a recession, sports has the capability, has the capacity of bringing in millions and millions of pounds of revenues, whether it comes through tourism, whether it's through sponsorship. We know next year South Africa, the World Cup, will be a hugely successful event. Huge bids are being made for Olympics. We know that sports works to drive tourism. And to it's very important to uh, ensure that the right audiences are being targeted by destinations so the properties are as effective as, po as possible. You have to understand, even to get a sports event to a destination, it's a lot of money, a lot of money up front. So it takes a lot of, uh, it does take a lot of uh, initial investment, initial uh, analysis, and then implementation. With Jamaica, we've been speaking to them about beach soccer, because that's a fantastic property for them. Obviously, there's the beach culture, uh, and there's the opportunity of developing the first event in the Caribbean. Maldives, we've had a very interesting discussion. They want to develop uh, the sailing, uh, develop the Maldives as a sailing destination. So we've been speaking to Ellen MacArthur's uh, company, OC Group, with regards to taking a big sailing event there, the Extreme 40s. Um, obviously, when you're bringing a sports event, so you, whether it's small or large, you might have different uh, results that you want to achieve. It might be brand awareness, it might be revenue based, or it might be changing perceptions of a destination. In any case, sometimes you can uh, evaluate the result through just hotel beds occupied or through revenues, in other cases through brand awareness. But uh, we know that sports marketing is highly, highly effective and all you need to do is look at all the destinations that are pitching for various properties. As I say, Olympics, Formula One, but even you know the, the, the World Cup, soccer, cricket, rugby. Big brands are already involved in sports. The interesting thing is, uh, the interesting is to see how new brands, new and developing brands can be brought into the sports sector. And as we know, new brands are developing all the time. On the one side, whether it's a destination brand or whether it's a consumer brand. That's the interesting challenge. Big brands are already in, it's proved to be highly effective, so it makes it more challenging for the little challenger brands, but, it, but there are so many interesting sports out there, so you don't have to, it's not like a menu, you don't have to choose one, they're, they're all taken. If one doesn't exist, you create one, and that's why, that's why event marketing is particularly interesting.